Here we are, Jasper Active Excel Lesson 4, and we've got quite a few exercises here, so we're just going to jump right into it, formatting numbers and decimal digits. All right, so it says we're going to format some of the cells containing numbers. So select the cell range B19 to B22. Right here, B19 to B22. And then on the Home tab in the Number group, you're going to select Number Format. So I can either do the drop down and say Number right here, or, nope, that's it. That's the one we got to do, Number. So notice it put two decimal places on all of the numbers. So let's move on. Now it says display numbers with a comma separator. It's helpful when you have larger numbers to have the comma separator to help you see groups of three. So select B19 to B22 again if necessary. And then on the Home tab in the number group, you're going to select the dialog box launcher right here in the bottom right corner of the group. And it says number of decimal places. Right here, number, decimal places, and then underneath that, you see a checkbox for use the 1000 separator. Check that box, and now you see it's added the comma every thousandth place, 1000 of whatever. Here we go, next. Now it says select cell B19 only. So B19 only. On the Home tab, in the Number group, you're going to select Currency. So right here, Accounting Number Format, notice there's Currency. If there's a drop-down, you can change it to UK or uh, the Pound or the Euro or the Yuan. We're going to select Currency. Oh, sorry, Currency right here. And select cell B22 and change that to currency as well. So B22, currency. All right, moving on. Now it says, using the ribbon, you can also quickly change the number of digits appearing after the decimal point. With cell B22 selected, make sure B22 is active. Notice in the Home tab number group, there is a decimal, increased decimal and decreased decimal. So it says, uh, click increase decimal twice, which doesn't make any sense because you don't have four decimal places in the, in a cash number. So what we're going to do is decrease decimal. Twice to get it back to two digits. Step number five says use the date format. Select cell B6 up here. And you're going to come up here and say custom. And we have a short date and a long date. You're going to click the long date. Now, all those hashtags, all those pound signs, just means it doesn't fit in this column width. So don't let that freak you out. Click the undo button. And let's select B4, just a second. I want to make sure they didn't have us do the short date. Nope. So now let's go to B4, last one, step six. And we are going to change this to a phone number. So with B4 selected, you're going to do dialog box launcher and then say special and you're going to change it to phone number right here so it puts the first three area the area code the first three digits into parentheses and a space the next three digits and then a hyphen and then the last four digits so click ok and it should look like that now submit it and get it uh-oh. 
I know what I did was changing the number of decimal digits were supposed to increase and decrease a couple of times. So I'll go back and do that real quick and we'll fix that to 100%. So here we go, number of decimal digits. So select cell B22, that's supposed to be currency. So I'm gonna change that just in case they're correcting it. And then increase twice and decrease, take it all the way off and then increase it again and let me see now if I hit enter and then submit. Does that give you my 100%? There we go. Easy fix. That's going to wrap up this video.